a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. Now if you found our show on Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website, fastpitch.tv. It's a place to find all of our past episodes and a place to keep up with our future episodes too. And I'd like to thank our sponsor, Softball Junk. Please visit their website at softballjunk.com. Now I've been bringing you clinics this year from SoftballCon. It was a great softball conference back in January. Go to softballcon.net to find out about the conference and to keep up with next year's conference when it comes up. Now this week I'm bringing you the third part of a clinic put on by India Childs. And like I say, India is well known nationally for her speed and as a left-handed slapping specialist. If you did not see part one or part two, you may want to go watch start with episode 158. Before we watch this one though, let's uh, go to a word from our sponsor and then we'll come straight to her slapping clinic. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-stale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. The next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. First hard slap, first the bunt game, versus the high hop. So the soft slap, get a little warm in here. The soft slap and the, um, the drag bunt, slap bunt, whatever you want to call it, those are considered our speed game. That is what I push with my kids more than anything because if they aspire to go on to the next level, that seems to be something that kids just find a lot more important. Anyone, I can teach a lot of people to hard slap and be good at a hard slap because you don't really have to be fast at first base. A good hard slapper has enough pop to get the ball through the infield. So you don't, you're not really in a race with the ball there. The bunt game and the soft slap, that's what's going to set you apart because you're actually playing speed game there. You're beating balls out to first base. Soft slap. We have to go after the shortstop. If you're going to go after the pitcher, you have to have a reason for it. Being um, Monica Abbott, for example, she's left-handed and she's like six foot three. So if I'm going to hit the ball to her, she's got to go all the way down and turn her body completely to throw it to first base. So a lot of slappers would go after her because it takes her so long to get to the ball and get rid of it. Um, if someone's having a rough day, their pregame, a mental day, where they're throwing the ball all over the place. If that's your third baseman, go after her. See if she's focused then. Um, but what we don't expect is for anyone to make an error off of our soft slap. The result that you want defensively is for that shortstop, or whoever, the shortstop mainly, to have to charge your ball and release it quick. If they don't do those two things, you should be safe. Your slapper should be safe. Um, if, they, if they don't have to charge and you're out, then you hit it too hard. So one of my drills with um, slappers that we do a lot when we get on the field is we'll have someone stand at shortstop without a glove. And if they, their hands aren't lit up by the end of that practice, then you did a good job with your soft slap. If they're getting out of the way and you're lighting their hands on fire, then you're hitting the ball too hard. Um, you can get in trouble there because if it's too soft, the third baseman is just going to come across the infield and throw you out. So kind of a fine line there. You kind of have to figure out what that is. Now with your soft slap, with it being specific target practice, you have to hit that specific target area. It tends to be the easiest to learn but the hardest to control. Um, so there, we're just going to do our back step, our crossover step, staying down and over the plate. Here, down and over. Here's our contact point, bat angle to our shortstop, okay? And then at contact, we're not done. So, unfortunately, we all play with some umpires that aren't the best. Oh, some, <laughs> not you, you are <laughs> but a lot of umpires, if you stop your bat here, will consider that a bunt, and a lot of coaches will argue that. So what I teach my kids is to control where the, what their ball is doing with their extension. So here we are, inside seams contact. Guide that pitch where you want it to go, which is straight towards my shortstop. So where you extend it should go if your contact point is on, always. So we've got contact here. We're going to push it over towards our shortstop. At this point, drop the bat and take off to first. 
So again, we said we're going to try to do every little thing right to be as fast as possible. If I carry my bat any further, I'm slowing my time to first. When you're timing your slappers, that time should start when this foot lands because that's around the time they're supposed to be hitting the pitch. So contact here, guide it where you want it to go, drop the bat, take off the first. That should also be their quickest time to first base, a soft slap. So for whatever reason your times are off, whether it be the bun is the fastest, hard slap should never be the fastest. But if, it, if your times are off, then they got to get better with the simple stuff. And again, depending on what your player's speed looks like, that may be something you can incorporate in the game. It may not be. But shortstop should have to charge it fast, release quick, or you're safe. Um, with that being your fastest option, you have to make sure that they practice at their game speed as they get the mechanics down and get comfortable. So the crossover step... <coughs> should transition hope I don't run into that net. from something a lot of times in our drills we just kind of look like this that's our speed well we're talking short game here you're in a race with the ball to get to first base so as if I go up to soft slap I'm challenging someone I'm challenging that short stuff I said I don't think you can throw me out you're playing too deep to throw me out your throw is too long to throw me out you're too slow whatever it's a challenge one on one so when I go up I've got to explode out of the box so my crossover step, first step in running stride, should look something like this. An aggressive, full, full speed stride. Very hard to teach, because my kids only want to do it when they want to do it. But that's what it should look like. Full aggressive stride. From there, you don't slow down. Um, how are we going to be fastest to first? Take the aggressive stride, crossover step. Get to the front of the box when you land that crossover step. Make sure that you don't take the pitter-pat steps after that. So if we're going to take a full stride here, base running one-on-one, base running one -on -one, you can't go Fred Flintstone for three steps and then go back to stride and out. First, first stride here, and you got to stride out all the way to the bag. Pick up the bag early so that you hit the front end of the bag. Okay. So the hard slap. Not in a race with the ball, all about power. Um, a lot of people ask me, how did you learn to bloop the ball in over so-and-so's, over shortstop's head or third baseman's head? I didn't learn to do that. Those are me messing up. <laughs> they just <laughs> work out that way. Um, but, you know, that's, that's a, you get a lot of good hits that way based on how the, the defense is playing you. So the hard slap, it's just a continuation of that swing and a lot faster hands. So soft slap, we said inside seams, guide the ball, drop the bat. Um, make sure that your players aren't lagging their bat to contact. You have to have the same aggressive approach here, boom, to contact. The thing is, you, when you're making contact, you have to pretend as if, you know, you don't want to pop the water balloon or crack the egg. But you cannot have slow hands dragging through the zone or you're going to go to third base all day long. So aggressive hands here and then try to soften up at contact. Does that make sense? Hard slap. Hands stay back as long as possible, and now we're going to transition to more power strides, more power steps. The biggest thing that our slappers do is they go too fast when they're trying to hard slap. The faster I go, the more power I'm giving up. So I'm not going to have that big stride with my crossover step anymore. So my crossover step is going to transition from that first running motion to that slower, choppy stride here. Got to land this crossover step hard. When this foot lands to balance me out, I'm going to whip my hands through the zone as fast as possible, as strong as possible for a full swing. The path of that swing is 100% like your um, hitting away swing. So if you have to adjust where you extend. Unless, when, a lot of times when we swing away, we're going to come up with our extension and go into a high finish. Sorry. And go into a high finish. Well, unless you're trying to go over the outfielder's head, you do not want the high extension and the high finish. So if they're playing you edge of the, the grass, then go for it. Go for that power hit over the outfielder's head. Um, but if you're going for those line shots, which we want to keep the air out of the ball as much as possible because as we get better and the game gets faster, those outfielders get better and faster. The more air we put under it, the more time we give them to get under our ball and catch it. So... With the hard slap here, same thing to contact, hands out in front, 
we're going to level out our extension or even extend maybe on a little bit of a downward plane and then have a lower finish there. It's where we extend we want it to go. Um, whenever we're practicing a hard slap, hard slap, I encourage my kids to hit line drives because that's the hardest, you know, to consistently hit line drives all day. When we miss our line drive, then we get the good power grounder on the ground. But be careful where you extend it will go with your extension because the best place to go is trying to hit someone in the ankles. If you're going to hit them to my face all day, I'm going to catch most of them. I'm going to protect my face. But I'm going to miss a lot more long drives that are coming at my ankles. So having the level extension or even a little bit level down to get the pitch where you want it to go. Um, as far as the target for your hard slap, you can work up the middle or left side. There's no hit that cone or hit that grain of sand like with the soft slap. When we're trying to be too careful, we slow our hands down, which is the majority of how we're going to get power is with the bat having a strong bat and having good bat speed. So if you're trying to be too careful, you're going to slow your hands down, which is going to mess up um, your approach there. So depending on where the gap is, a lot of teams that play their shortstop in that 5-6 hole, then you only have to get the ball past the pitcher and you got it through the infield. So that, that tends to be the easiest area to go after. How do you get it there? Catch it out in front and extend up the middle. Um, if you're going for the 5-6 hole, same thing. Contact inside seams, extend in that 5-6 hole. Your pitch should go there. Um, extension seems to be the biggest and the hardest thing to teach kids. Just if we're saying hard slap up the middle versus hard slap left side, they got to learn. It's not letting the ball deeper, hitting it further out in front so much as extending in that direction. I hope you enjoyed today's show. As I said, this was the third part of India's clinic, and there will be four parts in all. So stay tuned next week for part four, I guess. Now, if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android phone, you need to check out the Fast Pitch TV Show app. Go to your phone's app store and search softball to find it. Don't forget to check out our website at fastpitch.tv. Become a fan of the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. And follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. Well, that's it for today's show. But before I go, I want to let everyone know I really, really appreciate how many people have been watching the show. I mean, our numbers are growing. We've been seen in, I think, 110 countries now. I mean, our views are astronomical, so I want to thank everyone for watching and for everyone who's told someone else because it's not just me doing it, it's everybody out there helping me. So I do really appreciate it. So until next week, thanks for watching. Fast Pitch TV Network.